Friends, good afternoon. All right, be like that, okay. We'll try. Jessica Gomez Banderas. Ette Creo. Lady Laura Gonzalez Boyaca. from the future here as you just saw from those clips I have finally graduated from my PhD in chemistry which I'm so excited about I'm not going to lie I was a little apprehensive before the day because I felt like I, I finished ages ago I, I handed in my PhD thesis in February and then started working in March which was basically nine months ago so I was kind of like ah oh, well is it going to be the same am I going to enjoy it the same because it's so far away from when I actually finished everything but no I really enjoyed the day it was really great. I celebrated with my mum and dad and also my boyfriend Pete. We went to the graduation ceremony as you saw, then we went out for a lovely dinner afterwards and then there was a few clips at the end that you saw of some food and laid out on the table and we actually hosted our first party in our new house and that was for our family to celebrate our house and also to celebrate my graduation. So it was a very nice week full of family, full of celebrating everything that I've managed to achieve and celebrating my journey and I just wanted to share those clips with you guys. I was actually supposed to graduate in summer. I probably have mentioned it in a video before but in case you missed it I'll, I'll just recap. So I was trying to get my PhD corrections done quickly so I could graduate in the summer graduation because I had it in February and the summer graduation was in June but unfortunately my dad actually got sick and he had to get a surgery. He's completely fine now. He His appendix was infected and so that was on the day of my graduation which meant that I couldn't well I didn't want to go to graduation because I obviously wanted my parents to both be there so then it was easy enough for me to just cancel my slot uh, for the summer graduation and to transfer over to the winter graduation and that's what I did. I hope you enjoyed seeing those little clips and coming along with me to my graduation. Now we're going to jump into a weekly vlog from last week where it's quite a chatty vlog so you might want to get yourself a cup of tea or coffee and and enjoy listening to me updating you on what I got up to at work last week and I hope you enjoy! Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I'm a research scientist in the area of environmental and analytical chemistry and this week's video is going to be me just showing you some of the bits and bobs that I'm getting up to this week as a research scientist and today is actually Tuesday and it's half past eight and I would usually be at work by now but I'm about to leave in a few minutes because today I'm not going into the office, I'm actually going to an event which is quite exciting. So I'm going to a food and drink event at the exhibition centre in Aberdeen and this is basically to help me gain some contacts within the kind of food and drink industry because I'm starting to branch out a little bit more into food safety at the moment with my research and it'll be good to meet people in the field and to see what's going on in the world of food and drinks since I'm not very up to date with what's going on in that industry so it should be a very good day out I'm about to leave in a minute but yesterday I was at work I was in the office I was in the lab. I was cleaning up the instrument from running whilst I was on annual leave last week because I actually graduated last week. Sorry, my voice is a little bit strange because I'm actually starting to get a little bit sick, I think. 
so my throat is really dry <laughs> apologies for that but yes i actually graduated last week and so i had a few days off and so i had to come back yesterday to the lab and kind of clean up the instrument clean up my samples from the analysis i also had to check all of the data but i also had a meeting with another lab which we might end up collaborating with in the future because some of our methods for our pfas work they are quite interested in getting their samples analyzed for they're also collecting some samples for us at the moment so we're kind of working together so we had a meeting to actually properly meet online for the first time and put names to faces instead of just names on emails and I was also invited to a lunch meeting with a kind of agency to make some contacts there and to learn what that agency does and that was very very exciting I was with some very interesting and inspiring people so that was really great to be invited to that that's also related to the food stuff that I'm doing at the moment and then before I knew it the day was over yesterday so there wasn't really too much to show you because it was mainly meetings lab data processing and yeah it was a very very busy day and I wasn't feeling great in the evening so I just came back and relaxed but I need to leave for this event so I'm just going to grab my coat grab my bag and I will show you a little bit around the event if I can <laughs> Hello my friends and happy Wednesday. So yesterday at the exhibition it was actually really good. It wasn't too related to my work because it was kind of more business and kind of entrepreneurship kind of focused but it was really interesting because I don't really know much about business and entrepreneurship and how businesses work so it was really good to hear a bit more about that. There was also a talk from someone who is working on um, well a company that's working on vertical farming which is so interesting and we actually do a bit of vertical farming in our site in Dundee so it was quite quite nice to kind of understand a bit more what vertical farming is and it's definitely the future for farming 100% since we're running out of land and yeah these units for vertical farming take up hardly any space so yes it was a nice day yesterday wrote down quite a few names of contacts which could be useful for my work and um, useful contacts to have and try to collaborate with perhaps in the future but now we are back in the office we are back to reality. I am not doing too much lab work for the rest of the week because I mainly have to set up everything to run my experiments next week. So you might have seen in one of my previous vlogs, which I will link up here, I think. <laughs> I always get mixed up, I'm sorry, that I was running a big week-long experiment a couple of weeks ago and I have had to rerun the data, uh, well rerun the samples, so I've run them twice now. The second batch of data looks better, there was strange things going on with the instrument the first time around, but the data is not great because I was spiking all of the samples, but I need to spike at some higher concentrations also because at the lower concentrations we weren't seeing any peaks and to make my linearity curve I really want to have a good number of data points just to make it a bit more substantial so I'm going to plan to do that experiment next week but I need to prepare all of my glassware all of my tubes because they need to be alkaline washed in advance and I also need to plan exactly what I want to do on which day so we can be efficient and get it done efficiently and quickly <laughs> so today's going to be a bit of planning I need to check my calendar check my emails because I wasn't in the office yesterday I need to see if I've got any meetings today I think I have a meeting tomorrow but I don't think I have one today. I also want to read some papers on some areas of research that I want to try and dive into in future grant application rounds. So that's part of the plan also, but I'm just going to start my day by planning out what I want to do and we'll take it from there. <laughs> friends we are in the office it's actually Thursday now and I can't remember if I updated you on what I got up to yesterday but basically I was doing a lot of planning and I was doing a lot of preparing for the rerun of the experiment next week and I have also been helping my colleague to set up some runs of the samples that we have to run on the LCMS so I was helping with that cleaning tubes planning preparing making documents also explaining some of the calculations that we have in some of our spreadsheets so 
we're all kind of on the same page but it is quarter to three now and I have been pretty busy today I have been again preparing more glassware for the experiment next week so because just to put it into context I need about 60 tubes for the three batches that I'm going to be extracting and analyzing but I also need other glassware as well and my baths are only so big so I can't wash everything all at once I have also been preparing standards for next week because I need a range of different concentrations so I can spike the salmon that I'm working on. I also helped run more of the samples from the extractions that my colleague has been doing on the river water samples. So I was helping to set that up and transfer over the mobile phases. Had a meeting this morning also for an event that I am part of the organising committee for. So yeah, it's been quite varied, which has been nice. Nice to have the meeting in the middle of the day to kind of break up the lab work as well. And now I am checking what other standards I need to prepare because tomorrow will be a shorter day because it's Friday. And if you didn't already know, I usually leave early on a Friday because I work a bit more during the week. And then that means I can have an early finish on a Friday if everything goes to plan. So that is the plan. Before I go back into the lab, I actually want to show you a pen that I have been using and I was very kindly sent by Bastion Pens. So I have very kindly been sent their carbon fibre pen, which looks like this. I especially like the detail here for clicking the pen. It's very nice. Looks very cool. And this pen is actually really lightweight to write with and it is a very smooth pen for writing. But this pen is actually a luxury pen so it is on the higher kind of price point. So this isn't your typical everyday pen. This is one that you use for special occasions but it did come with a refill also and because Bastian sent me the pen they also very kindly gave me a discount code to share with you all which is M P A M. 20 and that will get you 20% off of any of their products. So I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out their pens, check out the prices of the pens also to see if they're within your budget. And yeah, it's a lovely pen. Really, really nice to write with. Thank you so much, Bastian, for sending me over one of your pens. Okay, so I said I was going to go back into the lab, but it's actually 10 to 3 and I think I'm going to get outside for a little walk while it's still light because it gets very dark in Scotland here at the moment. And then I'm going to go back into the lab for about an hour and then I'm going to finish work at half past four. This week's vlog has been a bit more chatty, just kind of updating you on what I've been up to because I haven't had much to show you. So I hope you don't mind that it has not been too action-packed and not too lab focused, but this is the reality sometimes that I am not in the lab very much and I'm mainly planning, preparing, reading papers, which I'm very glad to have had the chance to do this week because usually I'm too busy to be able to read papers and also attending events, which you would have seen a little snippet of. Hello my YouTube friends and happy Friday. I am having breakfast. I've got a bacon roll and some sausage which you can just see there and I have been in the lab this morning. I have been washing the columns from the analysis we were doing the last few days. I need to change over the columns and the mobile phases to do a different method of analysis and I need to replace the samples, change over samples, make batch lists, all that fun LCMS stuff. But now I'm actually going to have a meeting with our comms team, our communications team, about writing a newspaper article about the work that we're doing. So I am just going to eat my breakfast quickly and then sign on for that meeting. So just to give you a little snapshot of what I'm up to, I am changing over the samples, making sure that the file position matches up with where I have put the samples, changed over the standards also, got all my different samples and stuff here, I've got my columns because I'm going to change over the column to a new one, then I need to change over the mobile phases and I need to prepare the mobile phases over there. So it's all very much happening today on Friday so hopefully nothing goes wrong because quite often things go wrong on a Friday for me. Hello friends, it's half past one now and I actually left work at half past twelve when I would usually go for lunch and I came home and went for a walk with my boyfriend and now I'm home I'm going to have lunch and I'm going to work my final hour at home. I'm going to read a couple of papers and respond to some emails and that will be me done for the week and done for the weekend. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. Again, this week's vlog was not a lab-based vlog. It was more kind of me chatting to you and showing you what I got up to during the week. So I hope you enjoyed this format. Thank you again to Bastian Pens for sending me over the wonderful carbon fibre pen as well. So all, all the details about the pen will be linked down below. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.